got on the diving board. She jumped. She looked like a little ballerina. She bounced and just jumped in the water so, so gracefully. I said, oh, I can do that. So I go up on the diving board, and I was like, oh, I'm going to do this. I got there, and literally I went, <gasps> it's like it froze. It's like the whole, everybody, and you know, it's like slow motion you ever see on TV. And I just looked around. I was the only one moving. Everybody else was like, just looking at me. And I was like, I said, oh, my God. And I started shaking. I couldn't even say anything, really. I mean, I could not say Jesus. That's, and I was like, <gasps> and I started shaking. I started like this, and I started crying. and started crying, and I felt a gentle touch on my shoulder. And that's how graceful God is. The Holy Ghost, he just tapped me right on the shoulder and said, it's okay, move. And it was just enough that I could say, Jesus, 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 Jesus. And I just kept saying it because literally fear went like this. <laughs> Right here. It was so real. And I said, oh, my Lord. <laughs> and I remember, and I said, Jesus. Jesus. It was just enough. That little tap was just enough for me to say Jesus. Me saying Jesus, I was able to, to rehearse those scriptures that was in my heart. I said, God didn't give me a spirit of fear, but a sound mind. I said, you had given me the nicks of my enemy. I mean, I kept prophesying and can word and word. That's why it's so important now when you're not really going through things, it's good to study the scriptures out now. Because said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Write the words on the tablets of your heart. It's important with the word of God. Because you don't know. You might not need it for that moment. But God's preparing you so you can have it in you for that exact time. Amen. So when I was right there, fear was right here. I was saying, in the name of Jesus. And it was just enough that I could say, get thee behind me. I got the nick. I said, you had given me the nicks of my enemy. I said, Satan, you will not torment me. Spirit of fear, you are not going to torment me in this area. And I remember... Putting them beneath my feet, but I still was fearful now. Get ready to jump. And I said, I replace it with the faith of God. And I remember just jumping off that diving board. And I swam to the end, to the edge. And I'm going to go, <gasps> and I'm going to breathe so hard. I said, fear is still lingering. I said, oh no, you got to go. I got out the pool, went back up the diving board. Amen. I said, it didn't take me 10 minutes this time, it took me five minutes. I said, it's okay. And I jumped, went to the edge again, step up. I said, you're still there. You've got to go. you got to go. One thing saying it, one thing really pressing through to do it. Amen. Went back up. Didn't take me as long. It wasn't five minutes, three minutes. Jumped out. I went back. It wasn't there again. I said, you've got to go. I kept going till I literally felt his, his nick in my hand. I said, you are beneath my feet in the name of Jesus. And I saw a breakthrough. God helped me to master that area of fear. God helped me to rule over that. Amen? And I saw the progress, because you never know. Fear wants to stop the progress of you moving on. Amen. Okay? Amen. God wants you to move on. Amen. Satan Amen. wants to stop you. And we have to fight as sons and daughters of God. Amen. And I remember back then, that fear, when my daughter asked me, asked us to go whitewater rafting, it was no fear. I said, absolutely. But I can imagine. I saw how God was, was orchestrating my steps to get me in the right place at the right time. Because right now, the Lord is really reconciling our family back together. Because Satan came in here and really tried to destroy our family. But God had, Jesus had to walk between the pieces of my family. And now that, now that, that he walked between it, now we're working on our restoration and, and the healing cross of it. And I saw that first step. It might seem small to some people say, I just went white water rafting. It was more than that. God was do, is doing something, breaking strongholds in my, in my, my, my daughter's life. Amen. For our relationship. And I saw the power of God with that. And I said, God, I said, I do not want me, I don't want to stop the hindrance or the move of God because I have fear of something. I want to overcome. I want to master it. I want to rule over it. Amen. And so I encourage you all, if you have a fear, Stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with it. Mm -hmm. Know that you can master over it. Amen? Amen.